Hi YouTube friends, Brad of Silver Lining Daydreams. For the last seven years or so, Michelle's been trying to get me to declutter and organize the space, and rightfully so. In this video, I'm gonna show you some of my own personal decluttering journey. I'm finding that my own preference is moving towards more of a minimalist. Now, without worshiping at the altar of minimalism, I wanna use this philosophy in order to declutter some of the physical items out of our home, and at the same time, declutter some of the emotional and spiritual junk. By the way, I've been finding as I've been decluttering other spaces in our home that a weight sort of like layers of an onion have been peeling off less stress, more calm has entered my life. And quite frankly, I can feel God sort of tugging on my own heart, sort of to declutter what's in my heart. Now I know this isn't a faith channel, so we're not gonna go into a lot of faith issues in that. Six months prior to this, I started to gradually move items out of this space and I donated them or sold them. Speakers have been down here 10 years and I have not used them. More extension cords, another monopod. We used to do wedding videography years ago, so some of these are leftovers. I even put some items on this bulletin board with some sentimental value from years ago. I got golf clubs I'm going to keep. So yeah, I'm going to go through what to keep, what to get rid of. And at the back of my brain, I sort of have the idea that someday we might move. And I don't want to wait until we move to get rid of all this stuff. I want to get rid of it now. But last year when I started removing items, I bet you I had twice as much in here as what's in here now. My mom had a garage sale this summer. I sold some items there. Oh, by the way, stick around if you want to see how we transformed this space from this into this. This is after I declared all these extension cords and timers, bag of quarters. About 10 angle brackets, more bags of screws, chains, hooks. So I don't even want to waste my time with a garage sale. And I want to be more minimalist. If I need something, I'll buy it. So I'm going to go through all this stuff. And rather than boring you and showing you me just sorting through it all, I'm going to show you somewhat of what it looks like when I'm all done. All right, so I laid everything out. I know what I got. And I've kind of went through the drawers. So I'm going to add to the drawers kind of clean out the drawers, get rid of stuff. And I also came across this deer hoof. I forgot about this. So this was my grandpa's that was in his bedroom and he would hang his ties on it. I know Michelle's not real nuts about it. I can understand why, but I really like this. I think it's kind of cool. And I remember going in their bedroom and seeing all his ties on there. And I didn't know how to tie a tie. So he would tie my tie sometimes, or my dad would get ties off this and tie a double Windsor. So yeah. When I see this, it gives me lots of good memories. I'm keeping it. I'm gonna give this a big thumbs up. So here's another example. These are anchors and they're the old type and I had probably a half dozen bags of these, all kinds of loose ones. And I'm like, why am I keeping these? They don't work nearly as good as a newer version. For drywall, they're threaded and they're self-tapping. So, oh, this one's bad, it's broke. Why am I even keeping it? But this is the only kind I use, so I'm gonna keep these and get rid of all of these. All right, so I just found a bag that has more items in it. Just to give you an idea. Yeah, more stuff to go through now. What is that? So I don't even know what this is. You know, I have a feeling it's something to do with Ikea. Let's get rid of it. Let me get you a bin. You can start okay. taking that stuff down, all right. okay? Yeah, thank you. And coffee. The first thing you gotta do is make room to walk. <laughs> If you're interested in watching how I decluttered all this shop, I'll have a link in the description box. If YouTube allows me, I'll put a link at the end of this video. They might not allow it, so then in that case, you'd have to go to the description box and look in there. Thank you. Mm -hmm. So it was actually worse than this when I started decluttering. I call this my shop because I used to hang tools on this pigboard that's at the back wall. And I was always going to vent a couple smaller saws out one of these windows and I was going to use it for a woodworking area. Some people are able to use such a small space for their woodworking, but I was never really able to make it work. Mm -hmm. 
Over the years, I've gradually come to the realization that my tools need to be easily moved from one location to another. How I accomplish that will be in a later video. So basically, I needed to take all my tools, everything, remove it out of this shop, organize it, decide what to keep, what to get rid of. So I just took all the drawers out, and as I was pulling them out of here to carry them out, this thought came to me, boy, do I want to keep these? Maybe I can paint them and make them look good. And then I'm like, no, i got to let this stuff go. Um, I can't find anything in here. It's all closed up. The smell. And once I carried the drawers outside and I put them out in a pile, I felt kind of a little bit of a freeing. Like, this is going to be a clean, open space. We're going to paint it white. And, uh, you know, it's not going to be the be the prettiest space in the house, but it's going to be more functional. I can find things. So I'm really excited to pull these cabinets out of here, and I'm just going to throw it out. So basically I'm just getting this level by getting it flush with the bottom of this plywood and then going in. some insulation up here so I bought like a $10 roll on sale put some around the perimeter there and then what was left over I put up there as to keep the paint from going to the other side of the room and that'll spray paint nice and white and clean when the skies bleed, and I'm <laughs> on my knees. Wow, really looking good oh my word I never realized you did the you did the shelves. You are all I need. If I fall and through. I'm broke in two If I'm caught beneath And I still can't breathe You are all I need We're unclogging the toilet You're all I need. You're all I need. When we go to paint in the RV, we just take that tote with all the painting stuff, and it's all carried in one shot, and we have everything. We won't forget anything. 
or if we're gonna paint one of the bedrooms upstairs, just take that tote up into the bedroom. Everything is there basically except for the paint. Thanks for coming along with as I decluttered and organized this space. Subscribe for more and hit that bell so you're notified every time we upload a video. And as always, thanks for watching.